what do I want to say about restaurant owning in Canada? I would say don't do that. If you do not have a passion for food, if you think that this is a way to make money, the skin is perfect. It's, it's incredible. I would say that you are doing the wrong business. This here is um, magic. This is joke sauce. I make it, you can't beat it, sorry. I want you to, to bring that back and show you culture, or show you my culture. Trinidadian culture is um, fets and limes and, uh, oh. If you have a hood of, um, in Canada, or Toronto, we call it Caravana. Just like a pure, innocent party. Everyone's just having a good time. That culture is. What I want to do is to show you that exact order. Uh, do not come after me and don't open another restaurant to come after me, dude. That wouldn't be so nice. So Trinidad is a very unique style of um, food that we have. It's very multicultural. It has um, like uh, Indian roots, Portuguese roots. And basically, um, a lot of colonies came into Trinidad and Tobago and uh, took over the island for very short, brief amounts of time. Trinidad. The Caribbean island was first discovered by Columbus in 1498, and in the subsequent two centuries, it was colonized by the Spanish. They unsuccessfully tried to develop agriculture on the island by cultivating tobacco and cocoa, and in 1797, ceded it to the British crown. After British outlawed the slavery in its colonies, Trinidad began importing foreign labor, large numbers of workers from India and Europe, people who later formed a unique nation known as Tribagonians. Our population is 50% or 48% Indian, 48% um, African American, 4% mixed, so that's pretty much our food in general. Caribbean food to me is like a spicy curry. Pepper is one of the main ingredients for most Caribbean dishes, so I would describe Caribbean with spice. I'm very proud to be Trinidadian, and actually a Trinidadian saying is Trini to the bone. We definitely have family traditions in terms of food. Some of the traditions that I would remember would be uh, cooking together on a Sunday morning. You all come together, and you, you, you make that food, and just remember the, the, the more simpler times of just sitting there and, and enjoying your, your company of your family, which is, just like, un, like unmatchable. And it reminds me of uh, home cooking, reminds me of like my roots. Every Sunday morning, that would be the only time that my family would cook this, uh, we would cook satirity. Just that smell, you know, alone, it's just like a smell of bacon bread almost. And it just, it ruminates the whole house and it's just like fresh, like wheat smell. It's just amazing and, and when you see it, the way it raises and it, it pops up, it, it takes a lot of skill to get that to happen and just love that smell and it, it's, it's really inspiring. It's so important to me for people to see Trinidad and Tobago for more than, what it, more than just like a quick fast food. My, my thing here is quality, um, I'm reaching for the stars in terms of food quality, like literally every dish that goes out of here, I, if I'm not happy with it, I wouldn't serve it. Yeah.